We've spent a great deal of time and effort over the past few years encouraging people to make sure their homes are properly sealed. Any gaps or cracks left unchecked are sources of energy loss. The drawback is that now our homes are so well sealed that the indoor air quality has become terrible. I mean, everything from cleaning products to, to furniture to flooring, uh, even our pets, uh, coupled with inadequate ventilation and high temperature and humidity levels, have caused our homes to become a breeding ground for poor indoor air quality. Now, there are a few steps you can take, though, to drastically reduce those indoor pollutants. Any chemicals, solvents, cleaners, they need to be kept in tightly sealed containers. If these can be stored outside, even better. You want to make sure that you are cleaning and vacuuming regularly. That means at least once a week. Make sure your home comfort system is inspected annually by a licensed and trained dealer. Then I want you to buy a little tool. It's called a hygrometer. This measures your humidity levels. You want to make sure the indoor humidity levels are between 30 and 60 percent. Personally, I like to recommend those optimal levels, 35 to 40 percent. Now, if you're doing any remodeling, redecorating, you're buying furniture, maybe cabinets, even paint, I want you to look for a label on any of those items that says low or zero VOCs. That's volatile organic compounds. Never let anyone smoke inside your home. And finally, if you have any gas appliances, make sure they're properly vented. This tip is brought to you by Linux. Innovation never felt so good.